Notice has been sent to Election Commissioner Ashok Lavasa's wife uh, for discrepancies in income tax filing. That's what NDTV has picked up from sources. The income tax department has sought now information related to foreign exchange in that would have been carried out. Arvind joins us for more on this. Arvind, take us through what the statement says, the response, and what exactly is the case all about? Sonal, the income tax department has sent notices to election commissioner Ashok Lavasa's wife, Novel Lavasa, over alleged uh, discrepancies in the income tax filings by her between 2015 to 2017. What we are learning from our sources is that the first notice was sent on August 5th, after which uh, Mrs. Lavasa uh, gave a prompt response to that notice, and the agency followed it up with few more notices till last week. So this is what, what we are picking picking from our sources in the income tax department. They are also saying that they are looking into the income tax uh, filings by her uh, from the year 2015 to 2017 and they also got to know through inputs that she is a director in over 10 companies and they are also examining uh, the income tax department, uh, income tax filings of those companies uh, companies also and they are also cross-checking with the response given by her. So this is the information what we are picking from our sources in the income tax department. After this uh, report came out, uh, we also got a statement from Mrs. Lavasa. She has said that she has paid all taxes uh, due promptly and she has also disclosed all income including the pension she has got. In fact, we have to know that uh, Mrs. Lavasa worked as a, a banker in State Bank of India for over 28 years and in her statement she has said that uh, based on the uh, vast experience that she has acquired in working in uh, State Bank of India for around 28 years, she is now functioning as an independent director in few companies and when the income tax department sent her a notice, she has promptly responded to all the notices and as per her statement that she is responding, she is cooperating with the process of the income tax department. So this is her response. Another very important aspect that is being raised at this point of time is that even the income tax sources are saying that they are looking into the discrepancies of the income tax filings of uh, Mrs. Lavasa for the year from 2015 to 2017. So this is where a very important question is being raised. Why the notices are being sent? That too uh, this year, uh, August 2019, because the alleged discrepancies are being noted for the year from 2015 to 2017, but the income tax department has sent a notice this year, that is in August 2019, two months after Mr. Lavasa, working as an election commissioner, dissented uh, in giving clean chit to PM Modi and also Amit Shah for model code of conduct violations. We, NDTV, reported this extensively that during the election time, Mr. Lavasa uh, dissented with two other, one Chief Election Commissioner Sunil Arora and also the other Election Commissioner Sushit Chandra in giving clean chit to PM Modi on four occasions of model code of conduct violations and also one occasion uh, relating to Amit Shah's uh, alleged violation of model code of conduct. So this is where uh, people are raising question, the timing on which the Income Tax Department has sent a notice to Mrs. Lavasa. On, on side of Mrs. Lavasa, she is saying that I have responded to all the notices and I am cooperating with the process.